Hey, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasbin, here today to bring you another free professional workout routine. When I'm all done demonstrating the workout, make sure you click the link in the video description. It'll shoot you over to Hasbin's website where we have the workout instructions. All right, let's get this thing started. A weighted side bend is a great oblique exercise. We're going to start with either one dumbbell or one plate one hand, I want you to place an opposite hand on your ear. We're going to crunch one side as the other side stretches and back to square. We're going to do equal repetitions on each side, crunching one side and getting a nice stretch on the other. That's a weighted side bend. A knee chop not only works your abs, but it also gets your heart rate up at the same time. We're going to start with our feet shoulder width apart our feet staggered. We're going to reach up nice and high and at the same time we're going to pull down and bring our knee up as we twist in. Pretend like you're grabbing a watermelon and you're breaking it over your knee. Making sure to breathe. We're going to do equal repetitions on each side. That's a knee chop. A standing twist will work your obliques and get your heart rate up at the same time. We're going to start with our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width a little weight in your hips, we're going to put our hands together and we're just going to twist side to side for a little more added difficulty. You can either use a medicine ball or a dumbbell and twisting side to side, making sure that we're actually twisting our core and our obliques and not just moving our arms back and forth. That's a standing twist. A side leg raise, an oblique crunch, will work those oblique muscles without ever getting down on the ground. We're going to start with our feet shoulder width apart and our hands on our head. At the same time, I'm going to keep my legs straight and bring it out to my side and crunch my oblique. We're going to alternate sides every time, crunching that oblique muscle while bringing that leg up into the side. A high knee pull down is a great movement for your core and to get your heart rate up at the same time. With our feet shoulder width apart, we're going to reach up nice and high, pull down, and bring up alternating knees. So we're reaching up, stretching those abs, and then contracting them as we pull down. And we try to get our knee as high as we can. If you can't get your knee quite as high as I am, that's all right. Keep trying. You'll get a little better at it every time. Thanks for working out with me today. Make sure you click the link in the video description. It'll shoot you over to Hasbit's website where we have the workout instructions. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you check out Hasbit's website where we have hundreds of additional free workouts. We have your free meal plans to lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. All there, all for free, just for you. Please do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'll really help keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter. We'll send you the best daily motivation. And while you're at it, stop by our store, pick up a poster or a t-shirt, whatever it takes to help you stay motivated and on track. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.